coaches. Real quick, man, we all down here uh, banding together, showing our solidarity, trying to bring about change here in the community of Jacksonville. Real quick, man, can each one of y'all just speak to that and give me something real quick? Uh, who? uh Just speak about the change we bring it down here in the community of Jacksonville, this event Leonard Fournette put on today, oh, and how yeah. important it is. It's great to be in the community. Uh, Leonard Fournette is a you know great guy. Uh, just being able to uh, you know come out and be heard, uh, bringing about change. You know, uh, change is always a good thing, and we're looking to sit down and have some some real meaningful meetings. Yes, sir. Hey man, it's uh, it's good for me to be out here. I tell you, I have a 19 year old son, and the last thing I want is to get a phone call stating that my son was was uh, pulled over and profiled and, and, and murdered by an officer. So this march is just as important as the other protests and marches that have went on this past week. I hope we can continue to do this. And more importantly, man, if we can figure out a way to sit at the table. Bishop McKee said it the best yesterday. It's better to be at the table than to be on the menu. Because if you're on the menu, you're just being ordered and used, right? So we just want to do what we can to make sure we're at that table, man, and we can uh, we can affect some change, and make some things happen different in Jacksonville. Yes, sir. Coach, give me your thoughts on what's going on. Hey, oh yeah, man, being here, being from Jacksonville, a native of Jacksonville, just um, we know that the change is going to be a transition, and in this transition, man, these protests are very important. All of them have stages, man. And my, my thing is for for the future behind me. Uh, we may not get a chance to live this, live what we, we're dreaming about, but we'll make these future generations be able to live by the dream about us. So do all till we die, man. Yes, sir. Uh, Coach, um, how important it was for Leonard Fournette, Shai Khan, and the Jacksonville Jaguars to come out here and use their influence? A lot of people say right. pro protesting and marching is fruitless, but the mayor and the sheriff, they, they declared to release body cam footage, uh, be transparent, they knocked down Confederate monuments. How important it was for those guys to use their influence? Well, I think, you know, when you look at the Jaguars, they were the first team to, to have their march. Uh, a couple of days ago, and then following up today, uh, you know, be, being peaceful, uh, it's bringing about change, and that's what you want to see. Uh, you want to see things changing, uh, laws changing, uh, monuments falling. Uh, and that's not so much, I think that's more of a cosmetic, uh, but I think that, uh, you know, I think with Shaq Khan and the Jaguars having that march early on, kind of setting the stage with the NFL, uh, I think we look for more teams to do it and to follow suit. And uh, applause to the Jaguar for, for, for getting things started. Yes, sir. Like I mentioned, body cam footage uh, declared to be released, total yeah. transparency within the police department. How important is that, man? Oh, man, it's very important. You know, it's uh, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, been a long time coming. You know, it's something that other people have fought for, you know, that have wanted to see those things be transparent in our city government. But uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad it happened. The Confederate Monument coming down. I mean, it just made a great day. Leonard Fournette being out, bringing other Jaguar players with him. You know, I got a chance to talk to Miles Jack for a few minutes, and he's committed to coming back and working in the community. There was one time they weren't allowed to do that. But now that they're able to come out, you know, with courtesy of Shah Khan to do it, I think it'll be a good thing. Because people people move around other people to have some form of influence. And if you're an NFL player who, you know, people want to be around you. They want to know you. They want to, you know, take a picture with you. So if you say something, they typically believe it. Yes, sir. You got on the Albert Chester shirt. I got a chance to get a word with him real quick. Can you just give us something on Al real quick and how important Man, he is here in the city? I tell you, Albert Chester is 35 years old, uh, local pharmacist that is looking to make a change on the federal level. He could have chose to run for city council, school board, or state rep or anything like that, but he chose the top dog, which is, you know, congressional seat. District 5 running from Duval County all the way up to uh, Tallahassee. He has a huge footprint. In Jacksonville, his mom's been teaching school for over 40 years. She taught us, you know, at Rebalt Junior, and uh, she's at Reigns First Coast. But more importantly, you know, he has a footprint in Tallahassee. His dad was All-American quarterback at FAM, won the only national championship. He came right behind his dad, wearing the same number two at Florida and m played quarterback there. And uh, so there's a footprint there. But, you know, I'll tell you, his platform is strong. You know, uh, one of the big things that I like is, is, is judicial um, police reform, and just the whole system being reformed. And the only thing, the only way you can make that happen is somebody young with a lot of energy. If I'm 73, 74, 75 years old, then there's certain things I have to do just to even get out of bed. So to have somebody that has some, some vision, have somebody that says, hey, I want to do something different, and more importantly, have somebody that has some muscle, and they don't owe anybody, and they're not afraid to get down there and grind. Yes, sir. Coach, before we get out of here, we all know the problems facing our kings and queens all across the country, but do you have a solution that we could take and build off of that could uh, hopefully uh, allow us to have a be uh, better future? 
Oh yeah, definitely, man. Uh, we can use this uh, this protesting as a, as a martyr, man, and, and an example for to stand up for your rights and and be uncomfortable for a change. Um, one thing about being in Jacksonville, being in native Jacksonville, in the past, a lot of people I felt were not willing to be willing to be uncomfortable for the bigger cause. So I think this protesting and coming out having a peaceful protest, uh, protesting our everyday lives, giving back to our communities, having those those popular guys come out, those NFL guys, Shaq Khan come out, those guys have the Man, and I think they're influencing our younger generation to make them aware of the other societal changes that we need. Body camps, all that stuff. We need to have accountability in our neighborhoods. You know, it's not the reputation is not going to last long when these body camps start uh, flowing and showing the truth. So, with that being said, man, I applaud it. I'm staying with it. I fight with the struggle. And I want everybody to understand that you can always fight in different phases. This is one of the phases protesting. Coach, thanks for talking with me. Good luck to y'all. Oh, pleasure, man. Appreciate pleasure. It, coach.